finally it's Wednesday night and we all know what it's time for yes my friends it's time for to give you the full results for tomorrow night's WWE Smackdown for you guys so stay tuned on my channel right now because I'm gonna talk about it and let's do this with this presentation of the show okay Dean Ambrose kick off you know this week's episode of Smackdown he talks about Kevin Owens and you know and possible his match for, uh, with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Uh, Dean Ambrose promo isn't you know isn't so long because he is actually interrupted by Kevin Owens, uh, and Kevin Owens you know comes out there and talks that he has no opponent for WrestleMania 32, which I think is weird because Ambrose actually maybe have a you know guy at WrestleMania. I mean he has Brock Lesnar, but anyway. Um, uh, after that, you know, Owens ends up, you know, trying to attack, you know, uh, Dean Ambrose from the behind, behind, but, you know, Dean Ambrose dodges it and hits Owens with a sheer shot. And I think this promo or this opening promo was actually good. Uh, it was, you know, a fresh, you know, start of uh, the show. I mean, that, you know, we don't always have to see the authorities or, you know, Stephanie McMahon or Tri uh, Triple H, Vince McMahon or whatever the shit that they, you know, you know, want to show us. I think this, you know, kickoff promo of the show was good. But anyway, let's talk about the first match for tonight, which is the League of Nations versus the Usos. Uh, the League of Nations actually defeated Usos, but after the match, the Dudley Boys came out to beat the Usos down. And you see, here's the thing that I, I'm, I don't understand what's going on here because is we all know that Usos is heel, or I'm sorry, guys. We all know that Usos the uses his face and does this mean that the Dali boys are now healed because they attacked the Usos or what because they didn't give any I mean storyline to why the Dali boys needed to attack the Usos um, because they don't have the title so I don't I don't understand why they needed to attack them uh, so if this is gonna have you know if this is gonna have a match you know between the users and the Dudley Boys at WrestleMania, I think this is if this is the case the storyline and is kind of weird um, because you know the Dudley Boys ever since the Dudley Boys came back they all, they have been faced and now suddenly they turn like heel like all of a sudden I mean I don't understand what's going on but hey it's the WWE I mean they do fucked up things but this is you know clearly clearly a you know a good you know point on what the fuck's going on so if you guys you know understand you know this better than I do please give me your opinion in the comment section down below but I think it's kind of weird to see the Dell boys all of a sudden you know turn you know heel but anyway after the first match we saw the second match for tonight which is Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz and I have to say this this match was also very very good I mean if I I like, you know, the Dolph Ziggler, I mean, he, I think he's a, a, you know, overrated, underrated, you know, star, I mean, he deserves much better miss, I mean, he's also good, uh, I always liked the miss, um, I think he was, you know, he's, yeah, I think he's still a good wrestler, but this match was good, and, you know, Dolph Ziggler actually defeated Miss here, um, this, this was okay match, I mean, I, I kind of liked it. Now let's talk about the third match for tonight, which is Sasha Bank versus Becky Lynch. Uh, Sasha Bank, um, or the, the 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 winner of this match didn't happen because the matches ended with you know no contest when you know Charlotte came out and you know, beat the crap of both of them, which gives me you know a clear idea that that Charlotte versus Becky Lynch versus Sasha Bank is going to happen at WrestleMania 32 so we're gonna have a triple threat match at WrestleMania to see who is you know who will walk out with WrestleMania with the new champion so yeah I mean this match was good um, I like Sasha Bank and Becky Lynch I have like this you know their promos that I have cut on you know both on Raw and on you know WWE's YouTube page um, but I, I kind of liked it. I mean, it, it was a short match. That's the only thing that it was kind of weird or bad in my opinion. It was it was short. It was a short match, but I kind of liked it. It was decent. Uh, let's move. So yeah, let's move. On. Let's go on. Uh, afterwards, we saw the Divas match. We saw AJ Styles versus you know Kofi Kingston. 
AD Styles actually defeated Kofi Kingston with a springboard elbow. And here is the thing that I actually like with this match. I mean, as you all know, I like AJ Styles, but this match, if you haven't watched this, please, you have to go watch this, because this was hilarious. I mean, the New Day, as we all know, has some very good, you know, promos that they do, or, you know, these funny things that they do. Um, I think it was, you know, you know, um, they had a segment where uh, hashtag Table of Japan was, you know, spreading on Twitter or something. Uh, not spreading on Twitter, but, you know, people was, you know clapping you know save uh table of japan or something like that um so if you don't have watched this match uh please go watch it you know tomorrow night when you smack is live on your television because this in the match was one of the most funniest and hilarious matches i've ever watched for now i mean it was still good i mean it had some very good spots i mean i like the new day i like aj style so i actually love this match but yeah Let's talk about the main event for tonight. Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens. Dean Ambrose actually defeated Kevin Owens in a non-title match with his, you know, finish of the dirty deeds. Uh, after the match, Owens attacks Dean Ambrose. Uh, Ambrose attempts to put Owens through a table, but however, it does not break. So, um, this led it to, you know, they, you know, they, they didn't want to... I uh, tried it again because you know the first try they did uh, the first attempt they did the table didn't break so uh, yeah I mean the table must be some you know kind of Superman or something like that because I thought this it was kind of hilarious to see that the table didn't break um, so but it was still a good match Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens you know they gave everything they they had in this match I I think I mean they it was a good match um, good finish to the show so yeah guys that's it that's the whole um, today's week, so tomorrow, we, tomorrow night, SmackDown results. Um, I did not, I, I have not talked about, you know, some other promos that, you know, went on on this, you know, on this show because of the, I don't think that it's really necessary to talk about everything. Uh, I just talk about the big highlights of it. Um, so you can go watch, you know, tomorrow to see if you like, you know, any promos that I don't like. But, um, yeah, guys, that's all for me. Please like, subscribe, and um, yeah, and I can what I can tell tell you right now about this show. This week's show was so goddamn good. Uh, I don't, I don't usually say this, but this SmackDown didn't have. Uh, I don't think this Mac this week's Mac didn't have anything that I was kind of angry at. Which were, I mean, I think I liked every matches you know this this card, and that is very very very. Um, rare because almost every single week when I do this video I always hate on you know one match or something like that to say like oh it was bad they could do they, they can end it by this way or blah 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 blah, blah. but I have to uh, I have to admit I liked every show tonight but anyway guys that's all for me please like subscribe and stay tuned to my channel because I will post so much content since I'm you know being gone for one week and I have to apologize for you guys um my bad but anyway see you next video peace guys